It's like the track and the train. I'm sure you've heard of this. Pit to ephemeral. It's, it's not the train running off the track. It's the track not staying under the train. Well, what's the track? Your trochlear groove. What controls the track? Your hip and your foot. So when I treat the ephemeral, I don't. I'm not doing a lot of VMO strengthening. I'm not doing squats, squeezing the wall. First of all, I don't want anybody going in that direction with the event. I need them. I'll put a rubber band around their knees and say, open, and make sure that they can keep their legs in a proper position as they squat to get down into a position and not let this kind of stuff happen. But you've got to control that rotation. What are the two joints that rotate? The knee doesn't really rotate. I mean, yeah, we have to apart from kinematics that we have to look at, and I understand that. But as a motion, there's not a, there's, there's not a lot of rotation going out the knee. So how do we, where do we control the rotation from? Well, we've got to get to the bone above and the bone below, the foot and the hip. We need to control hip rotation, and we need to use, whether it's an orthotic device or whatever we want to use to help control our foot position. And we're going to talk a lot about foot placement and foot position when we get into the, the lifts, especially the deadlift. Um, understanding how to perform uh, a squat stance is, uh, is 